Hey everyone, welcome back to the Fired Up Life Show. We're going to talk about being strong-hearted, being convicted for your, you know, for your dreams, for your beliefs, for your convictions. Diba? Convicted for your convictions. That's like a, a double statement there. All right, so paano ba maging strong-hearted, di ba? Ano ba opposite ng strong-hearted? Being faint-hearted, di ba? And uh, a lot of things will discourage us each and every day. No, in our pursuit towards our dreams, in a, in our day-to-day -day life, either we discourage ourselves for the things that we haven't accomplished yet, or we may be feeling burned out, or maybe other people are discouraging us with uh, what we're trying to pursue in life, what we're trying to accomplish, di ba? Uh, different voices, uh, different uh, uh, angles, and, you know, uh, we, we can become faint-hearted, ayan. So, uh, I, what I see in life is that, you know, you got to fight for what you want. You got to fight for what you think is good for you, good for, you know, the world. All right. So how do we become strong-hearted uh, during seasons where the temptation of really just, you know, curling up and not pursuing anymore or quitting is just so strong? Ayan po. So let me know where you're watching this from. And uh, yes, let's all be strong-hearted. Ayan. Yan. So may tanong ako po sa mga nanonood ngayon. What is the state of your heart? Ayan. Isa sa mga paboritong tanong ko po ito when I was uh, starting out in ministry. And every time this question is, is, is asked in a recollection or in a talk, parang we get to reflect on ano nga ba ang dominant sa aking puso ngayon? Ano ba ang bumabagabag? Or ano ba ang isang bagay that I am so passionate about right now. What is the state of your heart right now? What are you feeling? Are you feeling discouraged? Are you feeling motivated? Are you feeling down? Kamusta po ang ating puso? Ayan. So, is our, is our heart strong? I'm not talking about the physical sense, but in the spiritual and emotional sense, di ba po? So, yes. Ano po ang kalagayan ng ating puso? Masaya ka ba? Do you feel strong? Do you feel, uh, you know, passionate? Or do you feel like uh, parang you're being faint-hearted these couple of days? Ayan po. Alright. Marami ba tayo mga fears? Marami ba tayo mga inhibitions? Are there things that we are not sure about? Ayan po. So, what is the state of your heart? Hello, hello. Hello, Rai. Thanks for being here. Hello, hello, Michelle. Thanks for being here as well. Alright. What is the state of your heart? Kamusta po ang inyong puso? How do you feel right now? Alright. So, we're going to talk about that. And of course, the Fired Up Life show is here to get you motivated and focused in pursuing your dreams and living out your faith. Ayan po. This is still our anchor. This is still our, um, shall we say, mission statement, motivation and focused pursuit of our dreams and living out our faith. Kasi pag uh, kulang ng isang component, ayan, hindi na na magiging Fired Up Life show to. Hindi na magiging Fired Up uh, um, yung ating mga pinag-uusapan dito. So I uh, I work within these boundaries uh, to make sure that everyone who's watching here get that motivation and focus that they need in life. That encouragement, di ba? Kasi day-to-day, -day, maraming nagdi-discourage sa atin ng mga factors. Alright, alright. Hello, hello. Ayan, may mga ano na dito. Sometimes it's really difficult to answer this question because times had become uncertain. Totoo yan. Chuck, no? Uh, talagang yung tanong kanina na sinimulang ko yung ating show with. Ayan. So that is uh, what is the state of your heart? Kasi, uh, I mean, uncertainties really started with the pandemic. We don't really know what's gonna happen the next week. Uh, we can't seem to plan well. And um, minsan, okay na okay tayo. Pero, uh, nako, plans change. Then we tend to become discouraged. No, So thanks, Chuck. No, it's difficult to answer this question, and the more difficult to answer it, eh, the more time it needs to reflect. No, the more time we need to ponder on these things. All right, all right. Thanks for your comment, Chuck. All right. So hey, feel free to comment, guys. Everyone who's watching this, ayan. So sabay sabay tayo maging fired up today. All right. So the Fired Up Life Show is all about motivation for work and life, and yeah, and we're here. You know, we're live every. Tuesdays and Thursdays, pag Tuesdays po, may guest ako. And uh, pag Thursdays, I do a one-on-one -on -one with you guys para we can really zoom in to the topic of self-motivation because that's what the Fired Up Life show is here. I'm here to help, to give you ideas, to give you encouragement, to give you that push that you may be needing for today. 
so that you can be able to accomplish your goals for today or be able to you know stand up again and fight for your dreams ayan po so let's go let's go let's get fired up at thank you po sa pagsama po sa akin dito sa ating show today all right so our topic again no this is it strong hearted how to you no know, develop the conviction to stick to stick to your dreams now often in the fired up life show we talk about dreams we you know dreams are important if without the dreams that we have if you don't have a dream uh, walang meaning ang life no why are you working because you have a dream why are you serving uh, in a community or in a in a you know in your barangay or in your church in your communities ayan because may pangarap ka for that place may pangarap ka for that group you want to create a certain impact so that's part of your dreams right uh pero you know a lot of times may mga words tayong naririnig na umaalis nagba-backslide no and and the reason for that is uh we, we've lost that conviction we've uh, our hearts are are lost no? nawala yung ating puso in what we are doing ayan so we must develop the conviction to stick to our dreams and we need to have a strong heart for that all right all right so paano ba magkaroon ng strong heart for the work that we do for the missions that we believe in for the dreams that we fight for especially for our families ayan po Huwag tayong panghinaan ng loob. Kailangan matatag. Ayan. So, let's go, let's go. Let's uh, identify first what faint-hearted means. The trait of lacking boldness and courage. Ayan po. Yung dalawang words na yan, boldness and courage are really very important. Kasi po, uh, when we are a bit timid uh, and uh, we expect others you know, to give that opportunity to us, we were just waiting for opportunities, medyo timid tayo, then nothing really much will happen to our lives. But we, you know, we need that boldness to get out of our comfort zones. We need that courage to, to say, di ko usually kinakaya to, pero kakayanin ko to. You know? and, and, and if we lack that, no? uh, we, we lack the boldness and courage, uh, we, we call that being faint-hearted. So, uh, kailangan ng tapang ang ating buhay. Kailangan ng yung being really, you know, being strong-hearted. So, I don't know how you're feeling right now. Are you feeling uh, a little bit scared? Are you feeling a little bit um, on the side of just uh, isolating yourself, right? Uh, because, you know, you, nadi-discourage ka in your heart. You know, some some days are like this. Some days you wake up really fired up. Some days you feel like this day is going a little bit slow. This day is a little uh, going a little bit uh, down. Um, the, the convictions you had last week na grabe, gang ho ka. And this week parang oh, parang faint-hearted ako this week. Ayan, no? so that's what faint-heartedness is. You know, you you lack the boldness and courage to do the things that you're supposed to be doing. The goal is there the you know the vision is there but the requirement is to really take action so yeah no when we are faint hearted we lack this boldness and courage in our lives uh, minsan naman dahil sa buhay you know what life has uh, given to us sometimes it's too hard to bear hindi natin nakakayanan nagagalit tayo nagiging indifferent tayo we become stone hearted ayun hard hearted pitiless unfeeling no so Yun yun eh. uh, when when we get big discouragements or we get disillusioned uh, in in many ways ayan we become stone hearted wala wala na lang pakialam wala ka na lang uh, ayoko nang makialam in anything no or you know i remember the time that i got uh, burnt in, in a certain business that i had no in, in trading may parang pumalpak uh, and uh, because that happened parang naging naging ano na ako indifferent to that type of business ayoko nang magkaroon ng ganung klasing negosyo out na ako diyan dahil nasaktan no so we become stone hearted we become indifferent when things don't go our way when things uh, are not according to how we envisioned it and uh, you know untoward incidents happen no we become stone hearted so yan po you know we, we either become faint hearted <laughs> or stone hearted you know, iba siya sa being strong of heart okay so let's talk about that and i love this quote you never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have totoo naman eh no, especially with with the people who are watching right now 
and you have your your families to to provide for you know you you have to pay for stuff you have to uh, do your duty and in a lot of ways parang wala kang choice but to be strong okay and often these times that you don't have the choice but to be strong lumalabas yung sabi natin strengths mo lumalabas yung galing mo na hindi mo akalain na nandiyan pala sa inyong buhay ayan so you never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have right like you know i honor the women you know my wife bore bore uh, four kids four children four babies and syempre you have to be strong giving birth you know and uh, you, you never knew that you could you could have that strength pala to to give life like that because you, you don't have a choice but to do that right ayan so di natin alam yung kagalingan natin until we um come across a big hurdle in our life until we come across a, a big challenge uh, a, a big problem ayan po then you actually stand up and say, hey, I'm going to do something about it. I never thought I could do this, but here I am doing it now. So, yes, uh, life uh, brings us that situation sometimes, and we just have to be strong, you know. Uh, sabi dito sa Joshua 1 verse 9, one of my favorite verses, sabi dito, Haven't I commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So can you imagine Joshua, you know, taking over Moses? What pressure, di ba? Joshua, very young, leading millions of people, you know, following him. Then he had to conquer, you know, uh, this uh, wall of Jericho para maabot nila yung promised land. And ang mga words dito ay napakahalaga, you know. I have, haven't I commanded you? No, commanded you. Utos ng Diyos. <laughs> utos ng Diyos na maging, ano tayo, strong-hearted. Na maging strong and courageous. You know? Utos siya eh. So, I, if, if you really pray about it, inuutosan ako ni Lord today to be strong and courageous na gawin yung dapat gawin for the business, gawin yung dapat gawin for for your employment, yung dapat mong gawin for the day, for your family. And therefore, hindi kinuman ni Lord na be faint-hearted. No? Be, be strong, maging matapang, <laughs> maging malakas, matatag, even at times when we feel the opposite. Okay, it's okay not to be okay in, in a lot of times. You know, you, you validate your feelings, that's an important process. Right, but we have to work towards that point where we have to have that strength of heart. Otherwise, you know, we, we're not being good stewards with the blessings that God has given us, with the opportunities that God has given us. We won't be, be always strong each and every day, but when it counts, really, when we have to be strong, we have to be strong in the Lord. Okay, okay. So here it is. The mandate is really to be. Strong-hearted. <laughs> yes. Uh, paano ba tayo maging strong-hearted? Now, so, let me share with you, you know, five ways to develop a... Well, five ways to be developed. <laughs> Mali pala, no? Five ways to develop a strong heart. Ayan po. The first way to develop a strong heart. Ito po. Unite your heart with God's heart. No, pinag-isipan ko talaga to, Pinagdasal ko to. Uh, suddenly, that inspiration came to me, di ba? To have uh, unity with the heart of God. Wow, it, that's kind of challenging, right? How do we know how you know, how God feels? Okay, but but the clues are you know with with us, within us, our humanity, our being a, a creation. We are we are made in His image and likeness, and therefore. We are created to seek Him. Uh, we are created to, you know, to be drawn to Him. But, of course, there is always that choice whether we will unite ourselves with Him or not. And that is the freedom. And freedom validates love. Okay? And when, when we, when we want to unite our heart with God's heart, that, that means we have to be discerning of God's will for our lives. We have to be discerning of what is good and what is bad. And especially when you are caught in a gray area, we have to be discerning 
hey, is this from God or is this from the evil one? Okay? So we want to uh, look into the aspects of our life where we are tempted. Uh, and we want to seek out, Lord, is this what you want for my life? Is this what your heart is telling me? Is my heart aligned to your heart? Okay? And when we talk about uh, alignment of heart or unity of uh, heart with God, we remember David, no? the man after God's own heart. Sabi dito sa Acts 13 verse 22. And I quote this. And I quote this. No? And when we... And when he had removed him, he raised up for them David as king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will do all my will. No, That's why David was such a great person. Uh, even as a young boy, he was able to defeat Goliath because in his heart, Goliath is nothing compared to, to the greatness of God. And maybe, let me ask you, how is the state of your heart? And uh, what, what are the Goliaths in your heart right now? What are the things that are daunting you, are hindering you, are making you afraid, are making you timid? Are, what are the things that are making you faint-hearted and even stone-hearted? And maybe we have to reflect on how can we be more like David? To unite our God with God's heart, unite our heart with God's heart. All right. So, yeah, no. David is the man after God's own heart. So we we strive to become like him. You know, and uh, a lot of great things indeed happen in, in David's life. You know, we can see that he wasn't perfect, but you know, he he fell a lot of time, a couple of times. But again, you know, when when people refer to Jesus. Uh, Jesus, uh, you know, son of David, son of David. <laughs> okay, so yes, we, we want to uh, follow God with our hearts. And that's that's the, 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 the premise. That is the first and the, and the most foundation of all things. Uh, we ask today, how's the state of our heart? And maybe our reply can be, is my heart close to God's heart? Is my heart united with God's heart today? All right, so number two. Second way to develop a strong heart is to understand your convictions. Yeah, you have your convictions. Uh, in, in the Catholic faith, we have the, the creed. Diba? We have our creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. You know, we have this uh, set of beliefs that we have in our faith. Then we have to understand it more. We have to read about it because without reading and understanding and studying, we will not be too convicted. Ayan, 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 ayan. So I, I remember there was a time when I was following a diet, no? And my friend was just coaching me, and I, I wasn't really into that diet until I read that a certain book that he gave me. When I started to read that book, uh, my convictions got validated. And because of that, you know, we, you become stronger, and you I, I was able to sustain whatever diet that was, diba? So, you know, you have to understand your convictions. That's why part of a covenant when you join a certain community, a small group, is to read scripture each day. Because uh, by, by reading scripture, you understand your convictions even more. So, ganun din po. Na? Um, a lot of us uh, believe in something, but we're not ready to understand it. So, yeah, you believe. You believe in Jesus, but we're not, reading about Jesus no you believe in your uh, in your line of work for example uh, entrepreneurship but we don't read a lot about entrepreneurship no or maybe you are in that line of work in your employment um, you are assigned to a certain position but you're not so uh, into much into uh, understanding what you are getting into diba so you have to understand your convictions in order to solidify that uh that that post that uh you know that uh you know decision that you have made for yourself okay you have to understand it no in sabi nga, uh, theology is faith seeking understanding no theology is faith seeking understanding and i love that no i love that uh, definition because hindi enough na okay naniniwala tayo pero kailangan intindihin natin Yes, it's a mystery. 
but there are revelations that are given to us and the church to be able to deepen our faith there. Okay, so that's the second way to be strong-hearted. Kaya yung mga santo, no? the, the saints that we uh, look into the traditions of our church, grabe, no? Why are they willing to die for the faith? Why are they willing to you know, pursue that cause? Why are they willing to die for the poor? Because they have gone so deep into their convictions. Malalim na. More than the others. And the more na mas malalim yung conviction mo, Mo, the more that you understand your convictions, the more you research about it, the more you spend time on it, the stronger your heart for it becomes. Okay. Third, be around people who can motivate you. Napakahalaga po nito. Okay. Kasi you have a conviction and you're pursuing your dream. You're uh, you know, trying to meet a goal. Kaso lang, mag-isa ka lang. You're doing it alone. You're you feel like you're Superman. It will come to a point where you need to really find groups where you can get inputs, where you can get, you know, encouragement. That's why I put up Fired Up University because this group of people are creators. No? Like me, I, I create content online. I do live shows. They want to spread the gospel online, having their own brands. Uh, they want to have a podcast. They want to blog. And it seems like they're doing it alone kasi mga kaibigan nila hindi naman katulad nila. Okay? So I, I thought one day, why not put up Fired Up University? Alam nyo po, magwa one year na po yung Fired Up University. Nakakatuwa. No? Uh, FiredUpUniversity.com has been around for almost 12 months and the people are still there. Because why? They stay for the community. Because they want to be surrounded with people who are also thinking about email marketing, social media marketing. They're also thinking about spreading their, their message. Uh, they want to be surrounded with people who want to find clarity with their brand. Ayan, no? So, uh, notice ko that every Monday night, we meet up and there's fire there. There's there's power there. No? So, we want to be surrounded with these people. In the same way, no, I, I've been with Couples for Christ for a very long time already, no? since I was 17 years old. And Every time nagmi-meet kami as a household, you know, I get motivated in the faith because you know the sharing of other people validates, no? The sharing of other people encourages and edifies what I do and what I believe in. Ayan, so be around people who can motivate you. Uh, if you're pursuing a goal, pursuing a dream, fighting for a a cause, there you go. Make sure you are not doing it alone. Be surrounded. Find that group where you can be encouraged. Ayan. So, number four naman, not to be strong-hearted. Ito talaga basic. Never miss your prayer time. Although, point number one, I said you have to unite your heart with God's heart. You know? And, but this is the more practical thing. Never miss your prayer time in a sense that even if you feel down, even if you feel discouraged and uh, blah for the day, you show up. You show up in prayer time and you have that conversation with God. You know, and uh, Lord, bless my heart. Lord, lift me up. You know, these things. And even after your prayer time, you don't still feel that upliftment. You know, you have actually, you know, you have gone through that process, diba? There will be days that uh, you will feel dry. There will be also many days that you will feel that consolation. But the habit of just showing up is important. Like for me here, this is not the prayer time, but this is a show, TTH. You know, there will be days that wala akong maisip na topic, but since I have to show up, you know, na nakakaisip ako. And usually, it's God-given. And the people who listen to the show are, are also blessed. No? It, there's a power in showing up for your prayer time. And then you just have to be consistent with that. All right? So be faithful in your prayer time. And the heart grows with it. The heart grows through prayer. Okay? It grows strong. Kasi, you know, Prayer is also a spiritual exercise. Yeah, at alam naman natin yung word na exercise, no, nakakalaki ng muscles. And the more we create resistance, di ba? Pag nasa gym ka, you create resistance. Eh. So, okay, magaan na to for me. Then I'll pick up a, 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 ano, a, a strong or a more heavy dumbbells, di ba? So, you create resistance. No? And ganun din sa prayer time, you know, to... You, you as you go deeper into that you want to pick up certain books documents and uh, uh more uh deep readings that can really nurture you, you know, in in your prayer time and therefore if you have 
your faith as, as a stronghold. If you have a strong faith, then therefore your heart will be strong as well. So yeah, napakahalaga. <laughs> you, you can miss everything else, but don't miss your prayer time. Sabi nga, there's like this cliche. Um, without prayer, uh, you know, a week without prayer makes one week. Something like that. No? <laughs> no, one week kasi, one W-E-E-K. No? But meron ding one week. O-N-E-W-E-A-K. No, without prayer... Uh, you know, you, you'll be weak. We will be faint-hearted without prayer. Ayan. There you go. Never miss your prayer time, guys. Ayan. And number five, although I mentioned this a couple of times uh, in some other points, read books that will really strengthen your beliefs. I, I believe in that. Well, why am I putting this, uh, you know, that, that fifth part here? Bakit? Kasi kahapon, you know, I, I was a... Uh, feeling a little bit uh, down and discouraged and maybe more of tired, not really discouraged. But, you know, I, I always keep a book in my bag. So when I go to work, I flip some pages. Then, you know, grabe, one paragraph lang of that book that I bought really has strengthened my beliefs. <laughs> Kasi, ayan. So um, you can buy a lot of books, but there are certain books that talagang feeling mo ikaw yung kausap. Hanapin mo yung libro na yan. Diba? Yung libro na ikaw ang kinakausap ng libro. Okay, of course, in your prayer time, nandun na yung scripture. Okay, no no problem. Okay, but this one naman, maghanap ka ng author, maghanap ka ng, uh, you know, manunulat, na parang ikaw yung kinakausap at gets na gets niya yung buhay mo. May ganun akong libro ngayon. Okay, uh, but it's a business book. It's called The Company of One. And feeling ko, grabe gets na gets niya ako. Lahat ng sinasabi niya doon, akong ako, at he is like doing it at a very successful level. Sabi ko, itong taong to talagang ano, parang grabe maka-encourage. You know? and, and he's doing the right stuff there. And it gives me ideas. It gives me, you know, strength in my heart na, sige, pagpatuloy ko to. Konting-konti na lang. May panalo na na. Parang ganyan. No? So, you know, read books that will strengthen your, your beliefs. Right, guys? So that's number five. That's number five. All right, all right. So there you go. Five ways to develop a strong heart. Number one, unite your heart with God's heart. Number two, understand your convictions. Go deeper into that. You know, um, be be more knowledgeable. Number three, be around people who can motivate you. Don't go about life alone. Okay, uh, surround yourself. <laughs> na fired up din sila. Number four, never miss your prayer time because okay, there's power in showing up. There's a... Uh, that uh, exercise that you do when you're praying and it strengthens your faith and your convictions. And fifth is read books that will strengthen your goals and beliefs. Ako. Of course, you can have an option, watch video, listen to podcasts, but iba talaga si ang libro. Iba talaga ang libro. <laughs> uh, baka, well, Curbs, hindi ako reader, hindi ako masyado ma, ma, you know, the, the reading type. You know, but, you know, still, there's, there should be that one book that really speaks to you. Ayan. Kasi iba yung, ewan, iba yung text talaga. Eh. There's power in that. Kasi, uh, can you imagine how text is created? It's really thought of. Talagang pinag-isipan bawat paragraph. Inayos yung grammar. In, in, inayos yung pag-arrange ng libro so that it can logically make sense. No? So, ayan. I, I believe really in this number five that books are there to, to help strengthen us. <laughs> diba? Ayan po. All right, all right. So, um, let me know, guys, which of the five things that, that you feel that you can relate with uh, that resonates with you right now. Is it number one? Is it number two? Is it number three? Is it number four? Is it number five? Let me know in the comments sections. Ayan. Sabi ni Chuck ulit, no? Uh, we learn so much when times get difficult, waves get stronger. Totoo yan, no? The, what are the things that you remember in your life? Most of these things are the trials that we had. Naalala mo yung naalala ko pa nga grade 2 ako nabalian ako ng uh, left arm ko no because of uh hilig sa BMX na <laughs> nahulog ako and, and to this day sa buong grade 2 ko yun lang maalala ko. <laughs> okay. No the, the trials, the difficult times are what really teach us a lot. No? And now I'm more careful <laughs> now uh, I'm I'm less reckless uh, as I used to be when I was a young person but these things really stick with us you know uh, siguro nung mga panahon na nagkakasakit ka no panahon na 
people are judging you or misjudging you, there you go. You know, you remember these things. It's very hurtful. Can people betray you? <laughs> you know? uh, yes, the, the waves get stronger. But yes, uh, I agree with you, Chuck. We, we learn a lot from this. And this is, this is part of strengthening our hearts, strength, strengthening our convictions. Hey, thanks for so much for your comment. Si Christian naman, sabi niya. Si Brother Joel, now connect your desires with God's. Pray for it unceasingly. You are not alone. Seek guidance of your convictions with people who support you. Continue to learn. Thank you, Kuya Kirby. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for being here in the show. Yes, uh, yan. Nagusto ko lang i-highlight dito sa sinabi mo. No? Seek, uh, you know, uh, continue to learn. Yun yung siguro hindi ko nabanggit no? Na in, in our show earlier. So, continue to learn. I agree with you, Joel. Um, pag hindi tayo natuto, what what uh, we, we will start to decline we will start to regress we will start to not feel the progress you know as long as we're living we should be learning ayan thank you so much for your comment so there you go friends brothers and sisters <laughs> thanks for watching today's show and uh, hey keep on commenting there below um and uh, if if there was uh, anything that inspired you today, you know, nakalimutan kong itanong uh, at the start of the show to to be fired up. So let me know who's here. If if you lo love the show, if you love this episode, you know, sabi nyo lang dyan, no? Lagay nyo sa comment section, fired up. <laughs> ayan, fired up na lang. If, you're, if you got fired up today with our topic, ayan, pakitype na lang dyan, fired up. All right, so keep those comments coming. And so you can support the Fired Up Life show. You can be a patron. The link there is there in the descriptions. Just go to patreon.com slash fired up life. You can also send stars, you know, to, if, if you got inspired today. Ayan. And uh, you can also be a supporter through our Facebook uh, supporter button. Ayan, bago po yan. And you can, of course, send support through Gcash. Ayan. So um, again, go to patreon.com slash fired up life and be one of our patrons. And these are our patrons, no? Talagang, uh, talaga very faithfully um, helping out the show, contributing to the show in their own ways, no? In different manners, no? Maram, kadalasan from Patreon. Uh, there are also Facebook supporters there. And of course, there are also um, those who are sending through GCash. So, salamat sa mga fired up patrons and Facebook supporters. Awesome. Ayan po, send stars. Buy my book, firedupliveStore.com. I know, nandun yung 365 fired up days sa mga wala pang kopya. Alright, so that you can get fired up each and every day. Sabi ni uh, Chuck, I, I like this third way, surround yourself with people that motivate you. Yes, yes. The, you have to seek that group. You have to find that group para fired up ka together with them. Si Lasty I fired up. Rai is also fired up. Mai is also fired up. Great, great. At si Joel is also fired up. That's it, folks. We're all fired up. Ayan, yun yung ating pakay sa ating show. So, you know, try to do this. Be strong-hearted. No? Kabugin. <laughs> you know? shake, shake up your heart, you know, and strengthen it. Strengthen it with your conviction. Strengthen it with God's grace. There you go. That's our show. God bless you. And keep me fired up. Bye. See you next Tuesday for another Fired Up Life show. God bless. Be strong in the heart.